In this video, we'll split a PDF into multiple folders with the AutoSplit plugin for Adobe Acrobat. Use this method to split a PDF containing multiple documents of varying lengths into separate files, and automatically place the output files in multiple folders based on the document's type. The sample document we'll use to demonstrate this contains combined invoices of different lengths. We'll use the page 1 of text as a separator, as it appears on page 1 of each invoice. We'll also use text from each invoice to name the output files. These will be placed in three different folders to contain invoices of each billing type. In this example, they're either paid, pending payment, or unpaid. The output folders will be automatically generated using this text from the documents, and will contain only their corresponding invoices. Let's take a look at how to open this tool. With the suitable documents open in Acrobat, select Plugins in the upper menu, then the Split Documents options. When this window opens, select the Use Separator option and page with matching text from the drop down list. Then press Options. In this window, we're going to enter one of into the Find What box. Now select the Search for Text only inside a specified area on the page box. Then press Edit Area. Now use the available tools to draw a box around the one-off text. The zoom tool is useful for enlarging a section of the page. Then you can use the selection tool to draw a box more clearly. Once this is done, press OK to close both windows. The next step is to ensure that no prefix is selected and the base file name box is empty. If necessary, clear any previous settings with the clear button. Then press Add to specify an output naming format. Select the Custom Text option and press Next. Now type a suitable entry into the Custom Text box. This creates a root folder where all subfolders will be placed. Type any output path according to your requirements, making sure it ends in a backslash. In this example, we've used the word Invoices. Press OK once this is done. The new entry will be listed here. Now press the Add button again, and select the Text from Location option before clicking Next. In this window, use the tools to draw a box around the invoice type text. The invoice type always appears in this location. Press OK once this is done. Now press the Add button again. Select the Custom Text option and click Next. Type a backslash as a closing symbol for the output path folder. Press OK once this is done. Now press the Add button again. We'll use Text from Location one last time to select the output file name text. Use the tools to select a page location. This should contain the desired text for output file names. In this example, we'll use the invoice numbers from each invoice. Now press the Add button again. Select Custom Text and click Next. Now type an extension for file names. Press OK once this is done. At this point, you can use Save Profile to save the configuration as a settings file for future reuse. Load this configuration with the Load Profile button. There are now five entries in the Append to Name list. The text used to make up folder names shouldn't contain certain symbols. Text used for file names should additionally not contain backward or forward slashes. If output file paths contain invalid symbols, you will receive an error message, so ensure that only the correct text is used. There's no need to specify an output folder via the Browse button, as this has been done already in the Append to Name box. When ready, press OK, and then again to confirm the split. After processing, the results box will list the output files created. Open the new folder to inspect them. All single files will be in their corresponding folders. Visit evermap.com for more product resources.